On today's episode of RC Kicks, we'll be taking a look at this, the brand new kit from Schumacher, kit K189. Why is this so special? It's their first Formula One car. So stay tuned for an unboxing and a close look. Hi and welcome to RC Kicks. On today's show, well, we're taking a look at this, the Icon by Schumacher. What's so special here, you cry? Well, it's Schumacher's first attempt at producing an F1 car. This kit is really focused towards the guys and girls who go racing the Formula One cars, and this is performance track focused, more than you kind of see from the likes of Tamiya and Kurosho, which are more leaning towards, yes, they're an RC car, but they're also trying to be a replica of a real uh, Formula One car. Not that you can't do that with this kit if you want, but really what you're paying for is a full carbon chassis and aero and performance. This kit retails for £299.99, which is a little bit higher up the scale, but don't forget being a brand new kit, there was tooling, R&D and development in there as well. So it's a big risk for a RC company to produce a whole new chassis for a whole new area. So We've got to give them double thumbs up for trying to expand their range. Now this is kit 189. It doesn't come with a body and tires. Now for me personally when I first heard that I was like what for that kind of money? But it turns out that a lot of the manufacturers that produce the real track focused Formula 1 cars that's standard across that field that you have to pick your own tires and rims and your own body. So what did I go for? Well I picked up these contact RC racing tires, which are JF142FAs, which are 63 millimeters for the fronts, and I think the same for the rear. Uh, 63 millimeters uh, JF128RA is for the rears. Now I will personally, this will be driven, but very lightly, and I won't take it round a track or anything like that. So I want to try and make it look like a proper Formula One car. So I will pick up some decals from MCI Racing. The body that I actually went for wasn't really a choice. It was, do you want a body? They're available now, grab it while you can. And there was hardly any available anyway. And a massive shout to Lee at l, l Models for diving on it straight away because they're all sold out now. Uh, anyway, and I, I ended up getting MT018009, which is F18 F1 body, which is not very really old looking and not super modern either. Um, I haven't decided what kind of livery I'm going to do or anything like that, but I will go for an actual uh, team livery personally, more than painting it up to take it racing. Right, let's open it up, take a look at it, see what you get for your money, and then we'll cut to a really close up montage so you can see all the parts, and then I'll just wrap up at the end. This build will be coming very soon, it should be a reasonably quick one for me to do, but I've just got to finish the Schumacher mission uh, body. I built the chassis a little while ago, I'll put a link up here if you haven't seen that, because I want to get that finished. The reason that's taken so long is uh, we're in the UK and the weather is now awful, so getting it out and driving it is really tricky at the moment, and I don't just want to do a video of me painting it, I want to paint it and drive it for you guys. Anyway, I digress. Let's take a look and see what you get. Now, this is all carbon, so uh, it should be absolutely beautiful, and Schumacher really do produce some lovely parts. And as you can see, you get a beautiful carbon chassis, Lovely cut, everything is countersunk. A few little scratches, but nothing. I guess that's just been living in the box. That's the underside. Then what do you get? We've got a diff, bearings, Tamiya. Has all the bearings, Tamiya bearings? Mm, not so much. Uh, what else have we got? Now, aero. Now I'm really interested in this kit. Now being that it's focused towards track racing, aero is massively important for these kits. Now one thing that I've noticed already is that's the front section and they've actually given you the choice of the canards. There's a two set of canards and a three. So I guess that ups the actual uh, aero downforce for the front of the car. Now this is a really good sign because this means that they're thought about aero and how you dial it in and things like that. So I'm hoping in this kit is a little bit more 
uh, focus on the sides and the underside and things like that. But good start and huge, that is massive. We've got some more aero parts, the rear spoiler section. Uh, yeah, that's, and then there's also, oh yeah, that's the rear wing and mounting um, from that side of view. I don't know whether you can tweak much. I would assume that you'll be able to adjust the uh, rear spoiler, uh, angle of attack and things like that. A nice bag of carbon, we always like that. Lovely quality, really good, happy with that. And then mostly lots and lots of little bags, bearings, more bearings. But then for that kind of money, you should get bearings really. Mounting points. Uh, Schumacher, you build bag per bag. So you just got a few, quite a few bags that are just a few screws, nuts and bolts and things like that. But overall, what we got a bit more to do with the bull diff. And you even get a little dinky spanner, look. <laughs> Right, oh, there's the stickers. Now stickers, standard issue Schumacher stickers, great for racing, not if you're trying to do a replica, a replica car, but then I guess you'll just jump on MCI and pick up whichever Ferrari, Mercedes, um, Force India, whatever you wanted to replicate from back in the day or more modern. And then the manual. Now I have to give credit to Schumacher, they do know how to produce a good manual. You get a full blown guide and the printing quality is very professional and what you'd expect. It's slightly different to the way that you do your Tamiya stuff, but uh, it's not that, not that tough. The only thing for the Schumachers that I end up with, you open a lot of bags. So there's tons and tons of bags left over and loads and loads of staples. It would be nice to see the staples disappear and then they just use a bit of sticky that you can just unstick. Mainly because they get everywhere, but I'm being very picky. Right, let's cut to a montage and then we'll come back for my final thoughts. So there you go. Put in a comment below, what do you think? Interested, something that uh, is new to you, that you may be interested, have no interest in whatsoever, already ordered one, race them a lot. If you're a F1 racer and uh, you've had experience with these, comment below what you think. Because from my point of view, apart from having a few F1 cars more as models and slight driving, I have no experience of these around the track. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Comment below what you think. Is this a great thing for the F1 racing community? I'd love to know what that's like and what you think. Do you think it's gonna be good? Anyway, thanks so much. I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.